Hi right, everyone, it's Tech Dad, your French Canadian tech reviewer. Great news for the Quest 2. Oculus has finally released their wireless Oculus Link solution. It's called AirLink. With a good setup, it can almost replace a wired Oculus Link. A game like 11 Table Tennis being the exception for me is just better anyway, natively on the Quest. So I have a couple of tips or tricks to help you have a better experience. So tip number one is understanding your settings. So first, if you go into the Quest 2 menu in the Oculus app on the PC, you have access to the graphics preferences. And this is very important that you be careful with these settings. Now you have to understand how it works. When you change the refresh rate, you will see at the bottom that the render resolution, the default one, also change. This is a way for Oculus to try to keep the performances the same between the different refresh rate for a specific system. You can also set the resolution manually, but be careful, don't go overboard. Go step by step, one step at a time, try again and see if you have any performance overhead and you can increase that volume. But I see also multiple players uh, using very high volumes for games like, I don't know, Beat Saber and then they try to play Half-Life and they forget about that setting and it doesn't work, it lags, it is choppy and often it's just that this setting is too high. Also, you have to set the Airlink bitrate in the Oculus Quest headset directly. You can have a fixed bitrate, but I will use a dynamic bitrate just to be sure that when you have some Wi-Fi congestion that it will not lag too much. That setting has a little impact on the performances of your PC, but not that much. It's really for the Wi-Fi. So if you are not certain that your Wi-Fi is good enough and you have some lag, just try a low bitrate volume and if it fixes it, then it's really your Wi-Fi, I think, or your router, you might need to change it. Uh, if it doesn't help, then it just might be your settings or your PC is not able to handle the game. Now, if you play Steam VR games, be careful about the render resolution. Uh, it is on auto by default. And personally, I had some problems with this with AirLink. I don't know why. But SteamVR was using a very high resolution by default when using auto and my PC couldn't handle it at all. So what I did, I put the same resolution here as the resolution I have on the Oculus app. Finally, if you have ever used the Oculus debug tool, please use a bitrate of zero. Tip number two, it is your Wi-Fi setup. To have a good experience with AirLink, you absolutely need a good Wi-Fi setup. The PC has to be connected to the router with an Ethernet cable. I also strongly suggest that you invest in a cheap dedicated router. It will make all the difference in the world depending on your Wi-Fi usage. So let's check my setup. This is my ISP router. I have a family of four and more than 30 devices connected to it. It cannot handle AirLink or virtual desktop. And also it's not in the same playroom that I have my Quest 2. So please don't look at the mess, but to fix this, I have bought a long Ethernet cable to connect my wife office to this playroom uh, with that cable. First, I have connected it to that PC that you can see here, but my Quest 2 had to connect wirelessly to that router and it didn't work well. So what I did, I have bought this TP-Link Wi-Fi router. It is Wi-Fi 5. It is recommended by Gigodin, who is the developer of Virtual Desktop, and it works perfectly fine. I have paid 40 bucks, only 40 bucks Canadian. It's like 30 US, it was on sale. So now I was able to connect the long cable that I've shown you earlier that goes to the other room to that router. So it's connected between both router and the other cable is connected to my PC. So now I have like a full wire network and I will connect also my PlayStation 5 to that router uh, wirelessly. So it will be better for that and maybe even my TV for, for, for that matter. And now my Quest 2, which is here, I can connect it uh, wirelessly to that new router, which is in the same play space as me. And it will be the only device using Wi-Fi on this. And this is what we call a dedicated router for the Quest 2. So when I play, I'm the only one on that router and all my family is on the other router. 
And finally, tip number three, I've already made a very popular video on that topic for Oculus Link, but it also applies to Air Link, is to set the OVR process priority setting in your task manager. As most of you know, if you do Control Alt Delete, you will go in the task manager. If you go in the processes, you need to find the Oculus process call OVR. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to remember it. OVR server x64.execute. Now do a right click on your mouse, go to details. Again, do another right click on the same process, set priority to I or real time. I really suggest to do I. If that fixes your problem, that's great. You are on the right way to have a good experience. However, the solution is temporary. You will need to do it over and over again when you restart your computer, for example. The software that you see now on screen is the Process Hacker software. It is free, it's like the Task Manager, but you can save the OVR server priority setting for the next time so you can shut down your computer and restart it and you will not lose that priority. I will put the link to that software in the description below. Airlink is just in beta, but it's already fantastic. This is the future of VR. Warriors are a pain in the butt. I hate warriors and wireless VR is the way to go. If you follow my three tips in this video, I hope that you will be able to enjoy Airlink like I'm able to do right now. So thank you all. Please think about leaving a like. See you next time. It was Tech Dad. Ciao.